Frankie. The stories told by these hero pilots may rewrite all textbooks on naval warfare. American pilots changed the course of World War II. In the decisive Battle of Midway in the Pacific, the U.S. airmen destroyed four Japanese aircraft carriers, halting Japan's military advance. One of those hero pilots was Navy Captain Norman Jack Cleese, a kid out of Kansas. A year before Midway, Cleese earned his famous nickname when he avoided a runway collision. Dust came up in the air, and the tower said, Unknown dust god, who the hell are you? <laughs> It wouldn't be the last time Dusty Cleese would fly in by surprise. And suddenly, the trap is sprung. June 4th, 1942, U.S. pilots catch the Japanese by surprise, not from Midway Island, but from aircraft carriers like Dusty's ship, the Enterprise. Navy planes roared from the decks of our carriers. Dusty and his dauntless Douglas squadron arrive while the Japanese were loading bombs on board the carrier Kaga. I went up to 20,000 feet, and I looked at the big red circle on the Kaga, so I dived down vertically. Others missed, but Cleese was the second pilot to hit the Kaga. I'd already planned exactly where to put my bomb. The main bomb went down four decks below. Hurtling downward, Cleese pulled his plane up just above the ocean as the Kaga erupted in flames. Back on the ship, Dusty took a brief nap and then joined in an attack on another carrier, the Hear You. It was a bonfire that could be seen 10 miles away. Cleese received the Navy Cross and the Distinguished Flying Cross for his dive bombing heroics. <laughs> I'm anything but a, a hero. On board, Cleese would write in his naval logbooks and to his girlfriend, Jean, who he would marry soon after Midway. Captain Cleese would later say no one had the good luck he had in his century of life. I figure God in his mercy uh, has uh, given me uh, the ability to do certain things. <laughs>